Hey everyone, I'm John with Roadkill Incorporated. I just bought a used MacBook off eBay, and it made me remember that there's one thing you absolutely must do when you buy any used or refurbished Apple device, and that is to reset the device, wipe it, and restore it to factory settings. It doesn't matter if you power it on and it seems to be ready to go. If you don't reset it again, and you just set it up and use it, you might be falling for a deceptive practice that could catch up to you months or years down the line, but by then it'll be too late to do anything about it. So what exactly am I talking about? Well, you need to reset your Apple device to make sure it isn't remote managed or locked. Deceptive sellers often take locked devices and apply a software patch called a bypass, which makes a locked or managed device look like it's working normally. A bypass does this by sidestepping the handshake with Apple that happens in the setup process. If you use a bypass device, it might seem to work fine for months or years, but the thing is, if you do a software update or down the road you reset it, the bypass can easily come undone and then the lock pops up and your device is bricked. I'm not going into detail about the locks or how they work. If you want more info on that, take a look at my videos on activation lock and remote management lock. But basically, the reason there are so many locked and managed MacBooks and iPhones and iPads is that lazy institutions dump their old devices to recyclers without removing iCloud and without deregistering devices from the remote management systems they use internally to control their Apple products. These systems control devices based on their serial numbers, and they lock registered devices over the internet. In other words, it's not a lock that's local to the device. It's not something on the device. Even if a device is wiped, when it connects to Wi-Fi, it does a handshake with Apple, shows Apple its serial number, and if Apple says it should be locked or managed, then Apple reaches out over the internet and bricks the device. This is the case with literally millions of MacBooks, iPads, and iPhones. Institutions just don't follow procedure when they dump them, so they're bricked. And then if they aren't destroyed, they're sold cheap because they're locked, and then they get out into the world. These devices aren't stolen, they're not illegal, yet they're unusable. And Apple doesn't provide a reliable method that lets them be used again. So with millions of these out there in the world, deceptive sellers smell a profit, because they can get them cheap, bypass them, and sell them as if they were good. Now don't get me wrong, I'm all in favor of bypasses to make locked devices usable again, but to deceptively sell them without stating they're bypassed, to sell them as if they are clean devices that don't have an issue, which is what a lot of people on eBay and elsewhere are doing, that's just wrong. The problem with bypasses is that they aren't permanent. Users inevitably reset their machines or just update the OS, and then the bypass is undone and the lock is back. To prevent all this, reset it immediately. And if you discover that you've been scammed, you can insist on a return from the seller, and eBay will definitely back you up on that because it's a violation of their policy to sell locked devices. So how do you reset a device? On newer MacBooks, you can press the power button, then immediately press and hold it again until you get to recovery mode. Once in recovery, go into disk utility, select and erase the drive, and it will ask if you want to reset the machine. Next, it will ask to connect to the internet to activate, and it will do the handshake with Apple. This is the point at which you'll see if it's locked or managed. If it is, you'll see the lock screen or the management login. And if it's a good device, it will let you on your way. With older MacBooks, you might need to hold down Command-R while powering on to get to recovery mode. If recovery mode doesn't come up, you can try doing an internet recovery by holding down Option-Command-R while powering on. This pulls down from the internet the most current version of the OS your machine can run. If you have an iPhone or iPad, you can log into the device and then go to Settings, General, Transfer, or Reset. Or you can connect it to a Mac and reset it from the computer. Again, once the fresh OS is installed and boots up, it's when you log into Wi-Fi that it will either let you through the process and you're good, or you'll see the dreaded lock or management login prompts. Anyway, I hope this has been useful. Don't get me wrong, buying used is a great thing. There are millions of perfectly good used Apple MacBooks, iPhones, and iPads out there, and most of them are amazing deals. I'm an Apple refurbisher myself, and I love seeing used devices saved from destruction. It's great for the environment, it saves you money, and it's a great thing all around. 
It's just that unfortunately there are deceptive sellers out there that ruin it for everyone and cause a lot of bad experiences. But armed with this knowledge, you don't have to be afraid to buy used Apple products. If you're interested in more ways that deceptive Apple sellers try to deceive buyers, check out this video that goes into a lot more detail. Anyway, that's it, and thank you for watching.